Good morning, Your Honor. Belka Scott on behalf of Mr. McPherson. All right, Pierce, a warrant was issued by Judge Moran. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> charged with, let's see, one count. Four. Four counts of unlawful sexual activity with a minor. He's already said bond $100,003 each count. Count five is unlawful use of a communication device, bond 10,003. <clears throat> count six, contributing delinquency of a minor. One, two, three, three counts of that, 10,003 each. <clears throat> Possession marijuana less than 20 grams. Misdemeanor count, bond set $2,503 on that. Yes, ma'am, you want to be heard on uh, probable cause or bond? On bond, Your Honor, I'm no objection as to the probable cause, Judge. I did find the case site. Um, it's State of Florida versus Norris, Judge. And specifically, our argument is that the bonds were set in an ex parte um, proceeding where the defendant's history was not considered for the terms of the bond. As the bonds are currently set, he cannot afford them. He is indigent. In conferring with the union, his annual income is $25,132. Um, as such, we would be asking the court to modify these bonds, specifically as to the four F2s that are currently set at 100,003. We would ask that they each be reduced to 50,003. Um, we have no position on the third degree felony, 10,003 bond. And as to the four misdemeanor counts, I would ask that those be reduced to 1503. State. Now, the state would object and the state would would ask that the court keep the bonds uh, and remain keep them remaining at 100,003 as to the F2s, one through four. And as with the other bonds from five through nine, they remain the same amount. All right. Um... Looking at the allegations, it appears that the listed victim in this matter is a 16 year old child. <clears throat> the defendant is 45 years old. It does appear that he had contact with her. His contact is of custodial nature. I believe he's a, a uh, school teacher and also a coach. He's a security guard and a coach, Your Honor. Secur I'm sorry, security guard and a coach. Or the allegations is that the 16 year old victim was enticed into performing sexual acts by providing her with drugs, mainly marijuana. It appears that these sexual contacts occurred on, on a number of occasions over a period of time. That there was full blown intercourse. <clears throat> saying the defendant doesn't have any money, but I couldn't help but notice one of those incidents when a sexual uh, battery occurred, he was driving a white Maserati. That's generally considered a pretty expensive vehicle. I don't know where he got that, but um, granted the victim did in fact describe unique characteristics uh, about his physical anatomy, which a warrant was obtained and uh, documentation was made, confirmed there's unusual characteristics that no, would not be known to anyone unless they saw him without any clothing. When he was arrested, they did recover marijuana in the vehicle that he was operating, inconsistent with what she had said. He, she was given drugs before each one of these incidents. And like I said, again, it is, it is a custodial type contact, which I believe that's an enhancement under Florida law if you're a school teacher or supervisor or parent. Anyway, based on those things, ma'am, I think the weight of the evidence is quite significant. I do have a concern for the victim and for the community. Therefore, I'm going to deny the request to reduce those bonds. They do appear to be reasonable at this point. Obviously, anything's changed between now and uh, arraignment. You can address that with the circuit judges handling this matter. So bonds will be as set. <laughs> Looks like it's 100,003 on the first four counts. <clears throat> 10,003 on counts five, six, and seven, eight. <clears throat> and the last count is 2,503. Everything goes to circuit court. All right, thank you. Thank you, Judge.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I guess Mr. Rosier's coming back later. All right, ladies and gentlemen.